How you guys doing? My name is Monterey. Listen listening to podcast next. Let's uh, get into this. You know, I'm looking out, you know, into the economic landscape and it is very dreadful. And uh, you I mean, people better be playing, praying in order for them to get blessings right now and be willing to surrender to Christ because it's going to get harder and harder. And I just wanted to kind of prevail some information now you probably have if you are listening you maybe have recognized what i said to hassan you know about the uh the mistreatment of the american taxpayer towards helping h1n1s over helping those citizens particularly i was talking about black americans but all americans deserve to be respected which is why what hassan called voldemort who isn't who is trump he called him voldemort which is ridiculous uh, said state in America first, which made everybody very happy in order to enable us to have a successful, you know, life and, you know, the, uh, the opportunities. <sighs> Unfortunately, I'm recognizing as I'm looking at an economic landscape that the uh, cons the, that all of the regulation that has faced has forced American companies to depend upon another nation, a foreign nation in order for its goods has concluded into us not being able to take care of our own selves on a day-to-day basis. And it has forced closure of businesses across this nation. And it's a mass. And it's very uh, unfortunate. It's very sad for all of us. You know, even, you know, even listen to this, you know, I've had a, you know, I've you know, graduated, got a degree. But what is it worth if the companies no longer exist or if they're only hiring H1N1s? Because they can get those H one N ones with the same skills at a lower wage instead of hiring, you know, you know, born Americans, and it's very, uh, it's very unsettling. Uh, it's 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 just a shame what has happened with the regulations that have been placed through Obama, and I'm going to say this wholeheartedly. It, what has happened is that it has caused our nation to not be able to take care of itself, and so what's happening is the fall of us on a daily basis right now if your business is is laying you off laying off your friends those that you care about people that you've had you know tons of great conversations with and you've been able to grow and love and now they're facing economic hardship like none other not like none other and you as an individual are maybe incapable of you know providing true relief you know because you have to take care of your family it's very dreadful uh and this is 100% in my opinion, uh, the globalism that has taken place is by design in order to cripple us in our freedoms because we have guns, to be quite honest with you, and uh, in our ability to live life and to enjoy life uh, is what enabled us to have true freedom. And that was taken away from us because of our inability to uh, stay independent. And uh, that's what, you know, Trump, who Hassan called Voldemort, which is proving who he, uh, who, what Hassan's, you know, who he, what his loyalty truly lie. Uh, Trump wanted to ensure that we are, as Americans, black, white, Asian, Indian, Hispanic, uh, Australian, if you're American, if you have a social security card, you know, we are able to take care of ourselves, you know, and be able to, you know, have great Open fires. July 4th is coming up. How many people will be able to enjoy a, a true July 4th like you have when you are like in the 1990s or early 2000s? Will you be able to get all the meat you want and, and the bread or will your local store be out of meat or, you know, or will you not be able to buy the bread that you need? Uh, will you have to, you know, maybe not celebrate the same way? Um, and it's just it's just sad uh, what needs to happen if you're listening, you have to begin to make a conscientious decision to contact your senators and your legislatures to, to, to inform them that globalism is destroying your livelihood and it's making you poor. And you have to be willing to say these things and you have to be willing to basically be the, be a person that stands out and says, hey, this isn't good. And uh, if this continues for another two or three years, uh, very well, we could be seeing half the in my opinion, we could be very well seeing half the U.S. population uh, homeless, and uh, it's 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 quite true. I mean, uh, 
Yes, there are new there are new jobs coming, but new jobs don't necessarily mean that they're going to Americans because uh, we are being invaded, infiltrated, or just overlooked by businesses who are able to get workers at lower wages. And it's it's the problem with globalism. We America isn't America anymore in a way, and it's in a similar sense. An American company looks so many other places outside of its own in order to get skilled laborers, uh, which is why you know it was great with the legislation that Trump was bringing in that forced companies to hire a majority of Americans to ensure our prosperity, to ensure that you know we were able to have good times, and to feel, you know, successful. And maybe we weren't as rich as, you know, as the richest people, but we are able to, you know, feed our families and live in a nice, you know, home. And it was enough. It was good enough. It was, it was amen, you know? And, um, and so you need to, you need to stop being a sheep. If you're listening and say, you need to, you need to stop being a sheep and just listening to what somebody tells you is good because they say they're democratic, uh, they're Democrat or they're Republican. You need to look at the policies and uh, you need to actually do research. You need to actually do work. You need to stop being lazy and just listening to Fox News or CNN. You need to go to the person who's asking you for power over you. Right. You need to go to their website uh, and you need to test them. And if they are not able to answer questions properly or if they're not even willing to be tested like currently right now Joe Biden is being asked questions about all the corruption he's been found and he is not willing to answer any questions he's acting like a tyrant this is insane this is scary and uh this individual he ha- he has to be held to the court of law and he needs to be arrested for treason i'm saying it 100% uh this is 100% treason uh our nation is not free right now and um and we need to depend on Jesus Christ in heaven, who is in heaven, and we need to allow him to uh we need we need to allow him to place his power upon us in order for us to win. We need him. We gotta we have to pray. Uh we have to do what's right. And anybody that wants to pray to the other guy, good luck. Jesus Christ has defeated him twenty thousand times and he'll defeat him ultimately. So it doesn't matter. Go pray to your false whoever. Jesus Christ is King, Jesus Christ is Lord, he's in heaven. And true Americans, you need to do what you have to do. You need to honor the Lord. Uh, You need to go to Exodus 20. You need to follow the Ten Commandments immediately. Uh, You need to be baptized in Christ according to Acts 2 immediately. You need to keep the testimony of Jesus Christ immediately so that the promises that God has placed upon you will come into fruition. But also understand that there are individuals around us who do worship the other guy who is Satan and they are, according to the word of God, planning to kill all true Christians and disciples. And if this is the last days, which a lot of people have said, if you read within Revelation, those who truly honor Christ will be killed. I'm just letting you know. I'm not saying that I want to be killed. I'm just saying if I want to die, I want to die for Christ in order for me to live for eternity next to the Father. And I'm letting you know that you need to make a decision about your life. Maybe this whole world is passing away. Maybe the time has ended for just natural prosperity and God's kingdom is coming because we have true, honest devil worshipers who are basically telling them, telling us they are devil worshipers, stating that they're going to destroy us. Uh, we have people that are pretending like right now the Russian government is fighting itself. It's because they are devil worshipers within the Russian government that are pretending not to be devil worshipers to push true Russians to fight a war that they don't agree with. And those devil worshipers who happen to be in power are also in uh, organization with other devil worshipers and other nations that are also in power. And those heads of those devil worshipers are the UN and they are all working together. And their goal is for instead of us fighting them, uh, so the Russian citizens should be fighting the Russian devil worshiping government. American citizens should be fighting the American devil worshiping government. What's happening is we're looking at each other and it it plays no part. And that's the thing with China as well. China is also uh, controlled by a devil worshiper. She is a devil worshiper. It's a fact, 100 percent facts. No ifs, ands or buts about it. These people are worshiping Satan and um, 
there is just too much proof about this. And their goal is to cause confusion and to cause turmoil and chaos. And they have been doing it successfully. And people haven't been recognizing it uh, until it's too late. You know, and, and it's a shame. You know, we have to, us as individuals, we have to begin to, we have to get back to Christ. Uh, this nation was built by those who chose to honor the Lord. You have to be, in order for this nation to continue, you have to do what those who built this nation did. If you're unwilling to do that, then you are unwilling to continue. And since God ordained this nation and put put it in place, he, he will take it. He will let it fall if it no longer exists because it's one nation under God, God in heaven. Yes, not the made up God. So these other individuals of foreign nations that never succeeded until they came over here. You get what I'm saying? Uh, God is king. God is Lord. Um, our nation is successful because of him in heaven. And those who have decided to steal that from us because the devil comes to steal, kill and destroy are going are being found out as of right now. And they have taken our heart to do what's right. And they have disguised themselves as angels of light. And I've heard countless within other nations uh, without us knowing. Uh, they have lied to us, informing us of things that were not true in order to get American soldiers to do things that were against their wishes, thinking that they're actually protecting the world, not knowing that they're just providing themselves to schemes. It's easily seen in Russia because of the selfishness of the Russian government. It's not easily seen in America because we for so long have provided safety and tranquility for individuals. We have for very long have truly provided prosperity for the world, but slowly it's been changing. I mean, if you read in Revelation, uh, you know, they say that, that there's a lamb-like nation that will begin to speak like a beast. We are clearly in the last days, and right now, our nation isn't isn't speaking how it spoke in the 1990s when I was a kid. The leaders aren't being kind. They aren't being considerate. They aren't being loving. And it's because our leaders aren't our leaders. Jesus Christ in heaven is our leader. He is the head of the church. He is the head of this nation. And they have decided to turn their backs on him. So we have to do what's right. Uh, the, in, the citizens within this nation, we have to do what's right. We have to allow God into our hearts and into our minds and to be obedient to him in order for us to live a righteous life. I know I just went, I just took you to church, but if you are not willing to change and to adapt uh, and do what the Lord says, unfortunately, the devil worshipers that do exist, they will, they will have their way. And I get it. You may say I'm crazy. <sighs> Dog, I'm going to be real. I hope I, now, I don't hope I'm crazy, but I do hope I am wrong about this. But I don't think I am because of all the evidence. I it would be, I would be ecstatic if I'm wholeheartedly wrong. I'd be ecstatic if it's just like if it's just a misunderstanding. And when they said yes, it really meant I don't I, sometimes or something like. But I doubt it because the direction of all these decisions lead us into poverty lead us into despair and make us weak and uh, as a man as a as a human being we should not desire to be weak in any shape or form thank you for listening if you've been listening um, my name is Monterey starts this podcast next if there's anything that you got out of this please like and subscribe make sure you're praying Make sure you read Exodus 20, understand the Ten Commandments. Read the remaining of ex Exodus from that. Understand what God expects out of you in order for you to live a righteous life in Him. Read the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. To understand Jesus Christ's ministry. Understand what He expects and how He expects us to live. Focus on the direction that Jesus Christ tells the rich young ruler on how to get to heaven. Um, make sure you read Acts chapter 2 specifically. Make sure you're baptized in Christ. Uh, make sure you listen to the Great Commission. Honor God with your life and honor God with your mind. Uh, don't fall into sin. I have a an entire you know video about me falling into sin and what happened in college and how the video went everywhere and it's just it's just you can watch it if you want. I just wanted to be open about my failures in order for me to be able to speak boldly about what Christ wants out of us and the truth 
uh, that's happening around us. I didn't want to be hindered. It is what it is. I made a mistake, but God, thank God that he enables me to be forgiven. Uh, so, and the same for you as well, as long as you're willing to repent by following his commands and keeping the testimony of Jesus Christ and doing what he says. God does say in the word of God, if you, if you love him, you'll do what he says, not what you think he says, not what your grandmother said he says, not what you hope he says, what he says. And the only way for you to get that is to get into the Bible. Um, again, thank you for listening. I just, we will be all right as long as we honor God, but we will not if we don't. We only have to die once and we'll live forever. But if you live for this world, you will die once and die continuously forever in hell. But if you live for God, you'll die once, but live forever continuously in heaven. That's just how I've been seeing this. Um, hope I hope I've given you some true um, wisdom here. Bye bye.